What would it be like if a god of war was highly respected and very powerful? Then he experienced a betrayal by his lover. The betrayal committed by his lover caused him to die tragically. But fortunately, an unexpected situation occurred, where he was reborn and returned to ten years ago. Exactly one day before the Apocalypse game starts. Games Apocalypse is a situation where humanity experiences a great disaster that comes from attacks by deadly zombies. The surviving humans are required to survive in a cruel world. The god of war who was reborn then decided not to repeat the dark tragedy that happened to him before, and he will avenge all the revenge that is in his heart. To the traitors. What's the complete story? Let's get straight to the storyline. The story opens by showing a man lying in a weak condition. Then, not long after, the man felt that his soul had returned to his body. So not long afterward, he came to life and rose again. He didn't know what happened. He didn't expect that he would be reborn like he was ten years ago, precisely in the campus dormitory from ten years ago. There he also saw his cell phone wallpaper. There is a photo of his girlfriend. In circumstances like this, the man finally realized that he had been reborn a day before the apocalypse game appeared. Before being reborn, he remembered something. Once he became the tenth god of war in the Dragon Kingdom. Two war gods from the neutral camp invited him to celebrate an event. While he was at the event, suddenly a zombie king immediately attacked him. That zombie king was truly terrifying. The man named Lindsay Luo also tried to confront the zombie king, but when he was facing, Suddenly, the two gods of war who had invited him to come to the event now ended up killing Lin Zi Luo. This situation made Lin Zi Luo completely helpless because of the betrayal he experienced in such a dying condition. Lin Zi Luo realized that it wasn't just the two war gods who betrayed him, but his lover also betrayed him. All the tragedies experienced by Lin Zi Luo came from none other than the Li family because he felt extremely vengeful towards Lin Zi Luo. It turns out that the zombie king was brought by Yao Hing Han, who is her lover. He had reached an agreement with the Li family. There are even legendary magics that are completely locked. So that's why the zombie king came to finish off Lin Zi Luo. Together with two other war gods, Yao Jing Han is the bell of their campus. He did not choose other geniuses. But Lin Zi Luo was happy because he could date the campus bell. What he didn't know was that he was instigated by the Lee family's young master to approach him before the apocalypse began. The Lee family deliberately used Lin Zi Luo to expand the Lee family's territory. But when they manage to get it, the Lee family tries to get rid of Lin Zi Luo. The Lee family is one of the three major families in the Dragon Kingdom. They have a very strong defense. At that time, Lin Zi Luo continued to try to survive and avoid being hunted by the Li family. Until the tenth year, he was constantly hunted by the Li family. By remembering this dark incident, Lin Zi Luo will plan to kill anyone who opposes his teachings. With his current fighting ability, he definitely wouldn't fail to get the chance for revenge. The first thing he will do is take revenge against his lover, who betrayed him first and to prevent a dark tragedy in the past. Then Lin Zi Luo should be able to kill him at this time. Lin Zi Luo then got a message from his girlfriend. The message said that currently, his girlfriend was giving tutors to children. He couldn't come to her birthday party. Seeing that text, Lin Zi Luo was furious. Because he deliberately lied to Lin Zi Luo. To be more precise, currently, his girlfriend is giving young Master Li a dirty tutor. It could be said that Lin Zi Luo knew about her lover's relationship with young Master Li. However, even though he was furious like that, Lin Zi Luo still replied to the message. Lin Zi Luo said that he understood the work of Yao Jing Han, aka his lover. But after that, Lin Zi Luo hoped that Jing Han would come and meet him in the abandoned warehouse behind the campus. Because Lin Zi Luo missed him, his lover also said that he agreed with that and they can meet before 6 p.m. Finally, he added a message, namely that he would prepare a surprise for her. Lin Zi Luo wasn't just annoyed with his girlfriend, but he was also annoyed with young Master Li, who in his previous life hated him for everything he received. Lin Zi Luo promised to avenge everything and would never let the tragedy of the past happen again. It was getting late, 
and the ceiling was starting to turn red. The boys who were there said that according to experts from a blog, this was a natural phenomenon that occurred once every 5,000 years. However, it is different from the perception felt by Lin Zi Luo. He realized that this red sky was a sign that the game Apocalypse would soon appear. Exactly when it was 7 p.m., Apocalypse Games will attack the real world and turn this world into a huge game. Lin Zi Luo was looking forward to it because he wanted to know how many people could survive that situation. Not long after, Lin Zi Luo managed to come to an abandoned building. There he saw his lover, who had been waiting for a long time. His lover was angry because Lin Zi Luo had let him stay here for too long. His lover even asked for the surprise promised by Lin Zi Luo. Lin Zi Luo also said softly, Don't rush, because soon he will give Yao Jing Han a surprise gift. Lin Si Luo then continued to walk closer to his lover. Then he immediately strangled his lover's neck while calling out to his lover to tell him all the secrets he had kept all this time. Lin Si Luo even knew about the meeting points that his lover had with Mr. Li. His lover tried to explain, but Lin Si Luo said an explanation. How can you explain that to me? Because I know everything. He said then showed a conversation, especially between her lover and young master Li. In the conversation, it was clear that the two people were deliberately fooling Lin Zi Luo to take advantage of him. The longer Lin Zi Luo looked at his lover, the more emotional he became. What continues is that he uncovers the secrets that Lin Zi Luo knows. It didn't stop there because Lin Zi Luo also knew that his girlfriend had no intention of dating Lin Zi Luo. Moreover, Lin Zi Luo was an orphan, a trash who had nothing. His lover could only beg not to be killed. But the rice had already turned into porridge, so there was nothing more that could be done. Lin Zi Luo, without further ado, immediately killed his lover very cruelly. With this situation, he was very satisfied, because he's been harboring all these feelings for ten years. And finally, he was able to express all his frustration. But in this way, he felt it was still not enough. He had to find a hiding place for Li Hao Bo a.k.a. Young Master Li. Not long after this incident, the system suddenly immediately said that Lin Zi Luo had now been reborn and had successfully activated the Apocalypse Game cheat system. The Apocalypse Game itself will only appear at 7 o'clock from now. It was still 6 o'clock and this could make Lin Zi Luo get ready first. The cheat system is a system that can crack Apocalypse Game data and gives the host a much better gaming experience. This system had successfully fused with Lin Zi Luo's body, so that Lin Zi Luo could carry out his first super cheat draw. He will try to choose a cheat that he can use later in the Apocalypse Battle Arena. The draw was successful, so Lin Zi Luo got a super cheat, namely Absolute Drop Rate. The Absolute contains zombies killed by the player, so players get a chance of dropping items which will increase from 1% to 100%. This means that every zombie that Lin Zi Luo kills will get a really interesting item. Lin Zi Luo was very excited about this situation. This is the beginning of making himself much better and much stronger than his previous life. By getting this cheat system, Lin Zi Luo was confident he could destroy the Li family. Although the Li family is one of the three major families in the Dragon Kingdom, one where their fighting skills are very strong, not only does it have a lot of soldiers, but they also have their fighting skills go much further and are stronger. However, Lin Zi Luo was confident that he could finish off the Li family. But before that, he still didn't know why young Master Li had such a grudge against him in his past life. One reason related to Li Haobo's hatred for Lin Zi Luo is because of his relationship with his long-dead father. Lin Zi Luo would soon find out the truth. After he dug deeper into the information about the Li family, he planned to dig up all the information he could get. Then he tried to finish off Li Hao Bo and hid to become stronger slowly. Moreover, now he has a cheat system that can make him stronger quickly. So with his prowess, he was able to finish off the Li family and put an end to all his annoyance. The time is now getting longer and later, and you can see many children gathered to welcome the beauty of the red sky. But they didn't realize that it was a sign of a truly bad tragedy. After that, Lin Zi Luo continued his journey until he arrived at a hotel. 
There he booked a room. Then he asked for three bottles of water and five loaves of bread. He then asked for technician number three. He didn't want technician number three without reason. Because in the previous life, technician number three was the zombie boss in this hotel area. And it was at this hotel that he finished technique number three. And for the current life, he wants to act faster than before so that he can get rewards early and develop as quickly as possible. He also wanted to test whether this cheat system was truly reliable. Not long after that, technician number three arrived and was ready to serve guests. Technician number three then immediately tried to approach Lindsay Luo. Then without thinking, he immediately finished off the woman. While he was taking a shower, the incident happened just as the woman had just turned into a zombie and the apocalypse game had just started. With the killing carried out by Lindsay Luo earlier, Lindsay Luo became the first person to successfully kill a zombie in this apocalypse game. The system also confirmed to Lindsay Luo. The system sounded the words welcome to the apocalypse game, and the game had begun. All this cannot be stopped. Players are only required to strengthen themselves to survive. The system again explains that the types of zombies that exist in this world have sharp hearing, and because of their sensitivity and poor eyesight, they are only able to observe available objects. Not only that, in this cruel apocalypse, 80% of unlucky people have turned into zombies, and only 20% of humanity is lucky to survive in this place. So enjoy this very fun and thrilling process. Then the main thing in the apocalypse is survival. There's no chance if you're dead. For an excellent experience, some game rules will be displayed soon. The first thing is to kill zombies or other zombie carcasses which can make you level up and get points or XP points. The game will mostly be level related. Second, by killing zombies or zombie animals, there will be an opportunity to spawn equipment, props, supplies, etc. The chances are very small. It all depends on the character. For higher levels, don't pay attention. We won't bother explaining because you won't get to the highest level. In the world of Apocalypse, there will be hidden opportunities located throughout the world. Players, please be careful when looking for it, because it contains something very terrible. Humanity's modern technological weapons will also lose their offensive effects, including transportation and everything that can be used as a source of strength. Then about how to deal with zombie attacks. Namely, only a bite wound will turn you into a zombie. So don't worry if you get blood from infected zombies. Another interesting thing is that zombies will also continue to evolve, so you should always make sure to follow their pace of evolution. Here the system also confirms one thing, where currently the zombies are still very weak, so Lin Luo can kill as many zombies as he wants, and that can add to his abilities. Please always remember that apocalypse games are full of unknown possibilities. Congratulations on entering an adventure. After that, Lin Zi Luo entered the name of his new character, namely Jia Yi. From now on, his name will be Jia Yi, and all complaints from Jia Yi will be avenged. By the system, he is also very ready to avenge the revenge he wants to take. Currently, Jia Yi himself has succeeded in killing one zombie. So he became the first person to successfully kill zombies in the apocalypse. Those who get the achievement are announced to the entire server even when he was a war god in his past life. He never got the prize that was announced to the entire server, so the difficulties can be imagined. The announcement stated the words, Congratulations to player Jia Yi for being the first person to kill the first person to kill zombies, and won the only global first blood level achievement and other prizes. Please learn from other players. One of the doctors named Ji Yao even really regretted this because it was unexpected that someone had managed to kill a zombie before he had finished doing research. Not only that, a man named Gu Gao Ji, who is quite an excellent zombie hunter, is very enthusiastic about this situation, because there was someone who could move even faster than him. Meanwhile, because of Jia Yi's great abilities, he got a truly extraordinary high prize. He also has epic talent and maybe that was due to some of the skills he learned in the last ten years of his previous life. Jia Yi got a truly fantastic gift. There are price tags and gold coins which are very useful for life here. It doesn't end there. He even now has a new ability called First Blood. 
Then Lin Ziluo returned to the figure of the first zombie he killed. The goal is to take the meditation necklace. This necklace after use will increase spirit by one, and the recovery speed of mental strength will increase by 10%. Lin Ziluo then, without further ado, immediately took it, because it will be very useful for him in the future. Soon, he will immediately destroy all the zombies in this hotel. For him to grow faster, he started walking towards other hotel rooms to find zombies that could be destroyed. Lin Zi Luo is now visiting a hotel room where it turns out there is a zombie. This zombie has become quite a strong zombie because this zombie used to be a repairman. Even though he was stronger than zombies in general, for Lin Zi Luo, zombies like this were still very weak. Not even a single attack from the zombies could injure him victoriously. That earned Lin Zi Luo another additional XP and one gold. This time Jia Yi did all this badly, because he couldn't kill a zombie with just one attack, after defeating that zombie. Jia Yi then returned to the other rooms. At this time he broke into a room which turned out to be a pair of zombie lovers making out. Lin Zi Luo was completely confused by this situation, because in conditions like this, the zombies have fun playing. The two zombies immediately attacked Jia Yi. The first attack was carried out by the man. The man's attack seemed very weak to Jia Yi even much weaker than the zombie man he faced earlier. This man, without thinking, immediately killed Jia Yi with just one blow. When Jia Yi faced the man and the woman came to attack Jia Yi from behind, again he finished him off very easily. As a result of this victory, Jia Yi managed to kill two zombies at once and get XP2. Meanwhile, gold also increases by two. For the kills he commits, he gets double items, and it looks like it's very, very good. Jia Yi was very happy to be in this situation because being a lucky person felt very happy. It turned out that Jia Yi got two prizes, each of which was called a probing eye. This item is disposable and can detect movement from a distance of 10 meters. When someone appears, the system will give a warning, the duration is 10 hours. And Jia Yi started to use it to find out where the zombies were around him. And not long after, it wasn't a zombie that came, but a fat man who was angry with Jia Yi because he made a fuss. Fatty then immediately tried to attack Jia Yi and tried to punch Jia Yi. However, the attack issued by the fat man did not hit at all. Even though it didn't hit the fat man, his head got bigger. He says, how dare a kid like you be able to fight me? I will beat you until you cry. Sorry, he said. The fat man was very loud, but he suddenly fell silent when he saw Jia Yi approaching him with a sharp knife. Jia Yi then, without thinking, immediately finished off the fat man with one attack. He did this because he didn't want to waste his time serving weak, big-mouthed people like him. After that, Jia Yi started looking for ways to find other zombies. He started checking the rooms one by one until he found a room with zombies in it. Jia Yi thought a lot and immediately entered the room and immediately tried to attack the zombies. The zombies that Jia Yi was currently facing had little speed. Jia Yi also had quite a hard time dealing with these zombies, but again he managed to slash his neck. After defeating the zombie, Jia Yi again got a new item. Not long after, Jia Yi was about to lie down while waiting for the time to come. But when he checked the time, it turned out that he was required to go to level 3 before 8 o'clock to reach level 3. Currently, Jia Yi has only killed 4 zombies, so Jia Yi needs 2 more zombies to finish off. Now there are only 20 minutes left, so Jia Yi has to immediately kill six zombies to get to level three. Jia Yi continues to run very fast until he arrives at the technician's room number three. There he is about to ring the bell because of that sound, meaning zombies will appear. Then, without thinking, he immediately made a loud sound. So the zombies started to arrive. The zombies that came, came from the basement. So Jia Yi couldn't help but have to go down there and kill two zombies. He immediately finished off the two zombies very easily. With this situation, Jia Yi again gets two XP and he can go up to level three. Before going up to level three, it turns out that the conditions have now been added again, where he must have four more XP so he can rise to level three. Then to support his prowess, Jia Yi needs a new weapon. Not long after, Jia Yi got a weapon called the Tang Dynasty Horizontal Sword. It was a bronze-level weapon, a sword of the Tang Dynasty army in the Dragon Kingdom, 
It measures 70 centimeters and has armor piercing and durability as very impressive characteristics. String Attribute plus 1 can reduce the defense of large enemies by 10%. After stopping fighting, the defense will slowly recover. Now there are 10 minutes left. Jia Yi starts hunting for the zombies outside, until he found four zombies at once. Without thinking, he immediately finished off the four zombies with his new sword. He thought that the quality of this sword was extraordinary. Under these circumstances, he finally rose to level 3 and had one player attribute point. Jia Yi will need another 30 XP so he can get to the fourth level. Not long after, a zombie woman came, this time a little smarter, because he came only because of his initiative. But again, the strength of the zombies is very weak. So Jia Yi could easily defeat him. With the defeat of the zombie, Jia Yi got a book. What turns out is that the book is a book containing skills. Jia Yi was very happy with this situation. He thought it was really easy. When 8 o'clock had just arrived, a much more terrifying zombie figure finally arrived. The zombie that Jia Yi will soon face is twice the size of him. This can happen because as time goes by at night, the zombies will get a big increase. Their attributes will be buffed, and it will be more difficult to fight these zombies. So he has to use his abilities to defeat these zombies. One warning for Jia Yi is that within a minute, the zombie will be able to reach its fighting point, so that at that time, Jia Yi will find it very, very difficult to beat it. So with all these circumstances, Jia Yi should defeat this zombie in less than a minute. Jia Yi started attacking and slashed the zombie's neck, but the neck could not be cut at all. The zombies that Jia Yi is currently facing are quite tough. Because of this, Jia Yi uses a hammer to try to attack the zombies. However, Jia Yi's attacks again and again did not have any effect on the zombies. Moreover, it was just an attack from that hammer. Not long after, a minute passed, and the zombie now started to become a very different figure from before. Currently, he has two red eyes that are so shining. He must survive as much as possible from the zombie attacks. Zombies continued to attack Jia Yi, However, Jia Yi did not remain silent. He continued to hit the zombie's neck, causing the zombie to start to fall down. Fortunately, the zombie has now been defeated by Jia Yi, because Jia Yi knew his weak point. This could happen because in his previous life, Jia Yi had gained a lot of experience. So this is the time for him to correct all the mistakes of the past, after defeating enough zombies. This evening, Jia Yi immediately rushed to take a shower to clean his body while he rested. During his break, Jia Yi again received a good item from his victory. Jia Yi got the Ring of Night equipment this time. This can make him camouflage, where Jia Yi's aura of existence was reduced by 30%. When Jia Yi used this skill, suddenly the skill book was shining very brightly. This could happen because Jia Yi was the first person to get a skill book, and even with this skill book, Jia Yi could achieve unlimited skills. Jia Yi was very happy about this situation because he will make the best use of everything. Then Jia Yi remembered his previous life, where in the past there were lots of people who were at level 60 to 70, but they only had professional skills. Even so, there is someone who is known as a good skill who has 25 skills, and he is the person who has the most skills in the world. In Jia Yi's previous life, Jia Yi himself could surpass 99% of players in the world because he has 10 skills and this time Jia Yi tried his luck to get another good opportunity at the beginning of this life so that future steps will not be too difficult. Meanwhile, on the other hand, you can see the young master who is currently really emotional because everything that happened did not match his expectations. In tense situations like this, Young Master Li always thinks about killing Jia Yi alias Lin Zi Luo. This also made the uncle a little disappointed, because this could make Young Master Li suffer. Moreover, Young Master Li's tough nature could cause him to die slowly. Without hesitation, currently Young Master Li has commanded his father's team, namely a mercenary squad to find out the whereabouts of Yao Jing Han and Jia Yi. He wants to find Jing Han, and if he is still alive, bring him to me. And if he is dead, then you just need to bring the body in front of him. As for Jia Yi, young Master Li really wanted to take him alive and made Jia Yi suffer very badly. As a result of the pressure he put on that place, 
His uncle said that the team of bounty hunters had been trained since they were young to become death soldiers, so they would all do whatever young Master Li told them to do. Li Haobo was truly very happy with this situation. The next day, Jia Yi returned for an adventure to hunt down weak zombies that could increase his XP. One by one, the zombies have now been killed by Jia Yi. So Jia Yi only needs 40 more XP to go to the next level. After that, Jia Yi continued to kill the monsters that blocked his way. Until Jia Yi got a new attribute. This attribute can be really used by Jia Yi. And the items that Jia Yi currently gets are called Equipment and Chance School. This item that Jia Yi got can improve equipment because this item can be very useful. This item has also been able to increase Jia Yi's attributes. By using this item, Jia Yi managed to upgrade his sword. So this time his sword became a sign of the Horizontal Dynasty sword plus one. After that, Jia Yi continued to hunt the zombies. Until he got a new item called a Hidden Mask, which was able to hide his nickname level. And basic information within 30 minutes. This mask can also be used twice every day. He immediately used the item. After carrying out many activities, Jia Yi took a short break. He also wanted to rise to level 5. Before nightfall, he did that to challenge a place called the Lower Room. Dungeons are a way for players to get a lot of equipment and item resource XP. Players only need to look for the dungeon portals distributed around the city. They could teleport to the dungeon waiting area to choose which dungeon they wanted to challenge. There is also a special single cellar there. Single dungeons are hidden dungeons that can provide more rewards than normal dungeons. He will soon venture into the living world, but he must immediately climb level 5. The scene opens by showing Jia Yi who has finished resting, and now starting to return again to continue the journey. Jia Yi then arrived at a padlocked room. Without thinking, he immediately smashed the lock and went inside. He faintly heard the sound of the zombies trying to get closer. One of the zombies then immediately attacked, but Jia Yi immediately blocked the attack. Jia Yi is now faced with a zombie figure who looks quite impressive to Jia Yi. Jia Yi managed to kill the zombie in the end. The zombie that Jia Yi killed turned out to be the father of two humans, each a woman and a man. After that, Jia Yi immediately used his advanced abilities to sort the available food. He then managed to get some food that was worth eating. He finished the food very hungrily. Then he tried to relax. He will soon raise to level 5. He only needs to kill a few zombies to reach that level. Then he continued walking, and he heard footsteps coming from somewhere. The place is outdoors. What he didn't expect was that outside the room there were already three people trying to take Jia Yi's food. The three of them planned to steal Jia Yi's food. And of course the food comes from a card that can grant all kinds of food. They were very intent on stealing it. But one of the women then said that it was not good to take something from the man. However, the chairman denied this and said that if they managed to catch Jia Yi, they would threaten him to give him the food card. And if Jia Yi refused, then they would be forced to beat him. While they were talking, he was right behind them. Jia Yi was really emotional when he witnessed all this. It turns out that two of the three people are the children of the zombies that Jia Yi previously killed at the father's residence. Just when the plan was about to be implemented, Jia Yi suddenly attacked. So the chairman now perishes easily. The woman could only be shocked and frightened. Seeing this, Jia Yi deliberately did this to save his energy so he could focus on eliminating the zombies and not dealing with these cunning humans. After that, Jia Yi also killed the woman's older brother, with one more woman left. Then Jia Yi's eyes immediately fell on the woman's figure. And not long after, Jia Yi, without thinking, immediately killed the woman who dared to take his things. So they have to get ready to be killed. He truly did not care about the misery and lives of other people. The most important thing for him was how to survive in this place and become a stronger figure. Not far from there, you could see lots of zombies trying to climb a building. There are already two people in that building. They could be said to be lovers. The two humans looked at Jia Yi, which is very efficient in eliminating zombies. The two of them also saw that Jia Yi was wearing a mask. So information about Jia Yi's whereabouts is not known for certain. The woman then planned to ask Jia Yi for help. But the girlfriend said that this was very difficult to do. 
and it's very dangerous. It's possible that he could use a mask to hide his identity and not want to save others. The man completely rejected the woman's plan, so they failed to ask for help from Jia Yi. Around that place, suddenly a woman in red immediately called out to him. He asks Jia Yi to save him from the crowd of zombies. The woman continued to call in a very loud voice. But Jia Yid was indifferent to that. In fact, he is now starting to try to take food and act indifferent. The woman was really angry. He said that he had more than 30,000 followers and he also called Jia Yi a trash man who dared to ignore him. The woman was really angry, then immediately threw a flower vase right at Jia Yi. But Jia Yi managed to avoid that. After that, to no avail, the woman continued to beg to be saved. He said he was very scared. Because there are lots of zombies around here. If Jia Yi was willing to save him, then Jia Yi could hold hands with him. The woman was very confident and then thought that Jia Yi would soon help her because his face is so charming. But unexpectedly, Jia Yi then immediately threw a piece of meat at the woman. The flesh then fell right around the woman. The woman was really angry because what he needs is to be saved and not food like this. Not long after, the zombies suddenly rushed towards the woman, and it could be said that Jia Yi's purpose in throwing the meat was to lure the zombies so he can prey on the woman. The woman in red was killed instantly, and her followers were very insignificant in conditions like this. At times like this, Jia Yi said that this was the first thing to learn in the Apocalypse game. The first lesson is to know what you can do and don't be careless in asking for help from strangers, because they will never know what evil intentions are in the hearts of humans. Moreover, this place is a place of survival. Jia Yi then went to the gym center. Dioa saw that the place was really very spacious. Jia Yi will immediately look for what he needs in this place before night falls. Night falls in about two hours. Jia Yi also deliberately came to the central gymnasium to look for wild treasure chests with a silver rank. In the apocalypse game setting, there will be special situations that arise in a landmark building in the city. The building is like a basement, and there is a treasure chest hidden there. A wild treasure that can appear anywhere, and anyone can open it. And one thing is certain, the treasure chest is guarded by a zombie boss, and players must be able to kill the boss in order to get the chest. Without hesitation, the death of the boss chest is also much more valuable than wild treasure chests. Surely the boss, aka the boss's corpse, will be able to provide amazing silver war equipment or items. Not long after that, Jia Yi received a mission in this place, where the mission is to kill 100 zombies alone. Jia Yi was a little surprised by that, because killing level 2 zombies is quite difficult. He actually plans to get past a lot of zombies and uses his mask to do that. Then he opened the wild treasure chest and left. But because this mission had come to him, he was confused. Should he accept this mission or reject it? He then asked the system what if he refused this mission? Will there be punishment? The system then said that it had a very good opportunity. As a cheat, he can enjoy the game very smoothly, so he won't get any punishment. Although Jia Yi accepted or rejected the mission 100%. Jia Yi was given a very good compensation. Even though he received information like that, Jia Yi still chose to continue the mission to get the treasure chest. Based on his memory, the silver treasure chest should be in the warehouse on the third floor. Therefore, Jia Yi will immediately enter through the side door and go up to the first floor. Jia Yi leaves via a safe path. The plan began to be implemented. And Jia Yi managed to go even further. This time, he will immediately get the treasure chest. But when he was about to get it, suddenly a zombie immediately chased him. A fight broke out between Jia Yi and the old zombie. At first, only a few zombies came. However, over time, the zombies continued to increase, and then Jia Yi managed to kill one of the zombies who could play basketball. It could be said that this zombie was once a skilled basketball player. After killing the basketball zombie, Jia Yi also got an item namely the Super Flashbang. Super Flashbang is a bronze rank item. Once used, it can emit a blinding white light that makes people who see the white light blind. The duration of the effect depends on how long you look at the white light and how long is the sensitivity to light. Jia Yi was very happy to get this item because this item is very good 
and he will use it as best as possible. Not only that, he also got the master key to the gymnasium center. Then, with this key, he could at least open the door without needing to destroy the door, so he could reduce the sound and attract fewer zombies, so that the mission can run very smoothly. Then he entered the place slowly. But unexpectedly, there were also a lot of random zombies in that place. The zombies were counted at 17, and the attributes used by the zombies were very similar to Jia Yi. Even a normal person should be able to use all his power. Just killing one zombie is actually quite difficult. But with the skills that Jia Yi currently has, Jia Yi should be able to finish off all 17 zombies. There he also saw that the entrance to the ping pong ballroom was closed, so if the voice he uses is not loud, then it is impossible for other zombies to break in. Right now, the most important thing for Jia Yi is to increase his level to level 5 first, namely by killing two zombies and he will rise to level 5. After that, he will finish off the remaining zombies. Then there was a fight between Jia Yi and the zombies. Secretly and slowly, Jia Yi began to attack. However, even though the attack was carried out slowly, the zombies in that place were still aware of the attack. So the zombies' eyes now started to turn red and immediately attacked Jia Yi. The zombies then immediately attacked in groups. Jia Yi, who was surrounded by a group of zombies, initially found it quite difficult, because the zombies attacked together. But even so, with Jia Yi's sword skills, Jia Yi immediately killed the zombies one by one. After killing two more zombies, his level increased and became level five. Jia Yi then, without thinking, immediately finished off the remaining zombies. Jia Yi then climbed onto a table. There he tried to see the zombies who were trying to attack, so that his field of vision becomes farther. In a situation like that, it becomes easier for him to finish off the available zombies. When the fight between Jia Yi and the zombies occurs, it is suspected that someone was spying on the fight. The man in red was planning to do something to Jia Yi. This was none other than his plan to collect the items found on the zombies that died after being killed by Jia Yi. It could be said that he wanted to see everything Jia Yi did. A moment later, he planned to float. However, because there were still too many zombies, he had quite a hard time. And with that difficulty, he just planned to wait for Jia Yi's death. Only after that could he retrieve all his items. This man is really cunning. We are shown again with Jia Yi, who may be aware that there is a figure watching him. However, Jia Yi must be able to focus on the zombies in front of him at the moment. Moreover, Jia Yi witnessed it himself. Soon, there will be lots of zombies breaking in through the previously closed doorway. Sure enough, three zombies immediately attacked. Jia Yi also tried to attack the zombies. He tries to defeat the three zombies who try to kill him. Then Jia Yi started to fight back and was not half-hearted. He immediately killed three zombies. After killing the three zombies, unexpectedly other zombies appeared. The zombies immediately tried to attack Jia Yi. Jia Yi had a little difficulty defeating the large number of zombies. In fact, now it seems like zombies have filled the room. Jia Yi had no other choice. He immediately used his new skills to defeat the zombies. This skill is able to produce something sharp that comes from the ground. And with that point, Jia Yi immediately finished off the zombies that were approaching him. This attack is truly fantastical. Even one by one, the zombies who tried to get closer were now automatically killed by the sharp branches. According to him, this skill is truly extraordinary. In fact, this skill is equivalent to level 20. Then he almost accidentally let his guard down. But again, the sharp object immediately finished off the zombies that were approaching Jia Yi. So the zombies perished. This seemed to make the pointed object Jia Yi's natural protector. With the death of many zombies, the level is now increasing. Jia Yi managed to get various other interesting items. In short order, the zombies have been successfully destroyed in the room. But even though the skill just now was amazing, this skill takes 24 hours to be used again. Jia Yi was truly happy about this situation. He then immediately looked at the items available in the room. Jia Yi then obtained various equipment. The first is a short-range launcher. It is a medium-range weapon item whose range can reach 30 meters. This weapon was truly effective for Jia Yi to use. Second, 
There are chasing wind boots with boots. With this item, Jia Yi can go as far as he wants. What's even more amazing is that Jia Yi can get an additional speed of 20% from these boots. However, with cooling language for one hour. And by getting various items like this, Jia Yi is increasingly confident that he will become much stronger and ready to become number one in this apocalypse. Then, when Jia Yi stepped in, suddenly a group of zombies tried to target him. Jia Yi then immediately used the deadly gun he had just obtained. With that gun, he managed to lure the zombies. Then Jia Yi aimed at a piece of meat that was shot by him using a short range launcher gun. When the flesh shot Jia Yi, then he immediately used the ability of his boots to quickly leave that place. Because he wanted to rest immediately. Because he has destroyed too many zombies. He has now managed to get away from the zombie horde. He did this on purpose because the most important thing for him was to think about the plans he would carry out tomorrow morning. After that, Jia Yi was about to enter a room where he had previously managed to get the key. However, when he opened the door, it turned out that the door was still locked. He was truly confused by this situation, because as he remembers, the key can be used. However, this time it was a little difficult to use. Jia Yi then felt that someone stupid had done this on purpose. Then he tried to break through the door slowly. He then realized someone was approaching him, but Jia Yi was too late because the person first immediately pointed the sword at Jia Yi's neck. The person also told Jia Yi to immediately hand over the things Jia Yi had. But not long after, Jia Yi, with his skills, immediately removed the man's weapon. So the man is now in a depressed condition. The man was none other than the man dressed in red who had been watching him. That guy is a complete loser. For Jia Yi, that man didn't even have the slightest self-defense to survive in this place. Jia Yi really thought of this man as a trash figure in that place. There were also a lot of people earlier. One doctor, one nurse, and two mechanics. They all witnessed the atrocities committed by Jia Yi. Jia Yi was really angry at that time she told the man that you only have weak abilities. It's best not to appear arrogant, because it will make you miserable. He really couldn't move at all. Moreover. Not long after that, Jia Yi, without thinking, immediately finished off the man very cruelly. The people in that place looked very frightened to see Jia Yi's cruelty. But after that, Jia Yi told the people there that he had done this to punish the trash who dared to try to steal his belongings. He also tried to lighten the mood, while confirming it to the others, if he is a good person. Everyone there could only be silent and smile. Jia Yi is now considered by these people to be their leader. Jia Yi told them all to take care of the needs of the next mission. These people really agreed to this because they were afraid of Jia Yi's existence. The first thing they did was throw away the man's body, the one Jia Yi had finished earlier. Everyone is now starting to carry out their respective duties. Jia Yi then also called on the doctor to immediately carry out an assignment. The doctor's name was Zhang Yashui. Currently, Zhang Yashui is at level zero. And to increase her level, Zhang Yashui will try to help him. Jia Yi deliberately did this doctor a favor. Because according to his memories in his previous life, Dr. Zhang He was one of the best professional doctors in the apocalypse. This doctor is even able to treat all kinds of diseases. By having memories like that, Jia Yi will use the doctor as much as possible to help him carry out various missions. For Jia Yi himself, the figure of Dr. Zhang Ye Shui is a professional doctor who has a different personality who is very interesting to be with. Not only that, now he will focus on his followers, namely one doctor, one nurse, and two mechanics. A few moments later, four of Jia Yi's followers saw a mark coming from the wall. The former will automatically be destroyed immediately. But before that, Jia Yi ate his delicious food, so that it makes his followers feel that they also want to consume it. Jia Yi knows this, then offer the best offer to his followers, where if they all want delicious food like this, then they have to be able to help him do something. This is very important. After that, Jia Yi, without thinking, immediately expressed his wish, where he wanted various tools for treatment, which he had written on a piece of paper. The paper was then addressed directly to the doctor, so the doctor couldn't help but have to help Jia Yi. At first, the doctor tried to deny it, because for him, 
medicines are very important. However, Jia Yi continued to emphasize that he really needed the medicines. So in the end, the doctors and nurses had no other choice but to give Jia Yi the medicine. Before that, they had to look for the medicines that Jia Yi was after. Not only doctors and nurses, two mechanics were also assigned by Jia Yi to look for various medical needs. The one just now was written by Jia Yi. Both people were able to carry out their duties. After ordering his followers, Jia Yi is now trying to relax. While relaxing there, he also tried to identify his current level of existence. From the results obtained, it turns out that currently he needs 22 zombies so he can rise to level 6. That means he needs 22 more XP. In order to reach this level, he is currently on a mission to kill 100 zombies. Jia Yi is already at stage 45. Those who have finished, so there are 55 left. And the remaining mission duration is 24 hours. Then after that, Jia Yi tried to rest for a moment by closing his eyes. Then not long after he tried to check on his followers, it turned out that currently his followers were carrying out a mission from Jia Yi. Previously, the followers were completely obedient. It even looked like they were all tired at the moment. Jia Yi, who saw this, then tried to encourage his followers. At the same time, Jia Yi also gave a special card to his followers. Jia Yi could be said to be a little kind to his followers too. Jia Yi also did not hesitate to give delicious food to his followers because they had managed to obey in that place. Jia Yi also gave a special warning to his followers. Where his followers are required to always be in this place. Don't even go out. Jia Yi will also soon leave this place to hunt zombies at the game museum center. He did that to complete his mission of eliminating 100 zombies. Before leaving, the doctor tried to warn Jia Yi that there were lots of zombies outside and it was very dangerous. Jia Yi, who listened to such warnings, instead told the doctor that you should worry about yourself first. Jia Yi then immediately left the room, and he saw so many zombies currently roaming around. One zombie was then successfully killed by Jia Yi. So Jia Yi got an item, namely a fishing road. Then Jia Yi didn't stop there, he continued to hunt the zombies in that place. One by one, the zombies have now been killed by Jia Yi in the hallway. So currently the hallway is completely free of zombies. He was about to leave immediately, but unexpectedly, Jia Yi found a zombie who was busy urinating. Jia Yi then, without thinking, immediately finished off the zombie easily. Not long after that, Jia Yi continued to try to find zombies that were available in this place. He then turned to leave and heard a voice coming from inside the room. He assumed that the sound was made by a woman. He was initially hesitant to reveal it. However, he remains optimistic about completing his mission to eliminate the zombies. When he managed to open the door, it can be seen that now there are two zombies, and the zombies are a pair of lovers who are having fun relaxing. The couple's zombies tried to attack Jia Yi with all the strength they had, but Jia Yi finished off the zombie very easily. After finishing off the couple's zombies, Jia Yi finally realized that these zombies were a couple. This couple was quite famous among them. By killing the zombie couple, Jia Yi finally got an item. This item is very useful for Jia Yi. To get a more amazing item, the item that Jia Yi got now can be said to be a link so that Jia Yi can get bronzes. Then he continued to investigate the whereabouts of the bronzes, until he found the location of the bronzes. He was truly shocked by that, and he was very happy. He will check the box in a moment. Jia Yi currently got a box. The box will soon be opened by Jia Yi. Jia Yi immediately opened the box, and it turned out that the contents of the box were fruit. This is a very special fruit. If you consume this fruit, the user's physical condition will automatically increase twice as much as before. Jia Yi was really happy with this situation, because by consuming this fruit, then automatically his physique will get stronger, and that will of course help him to defeat the zombies. And not long after, Jia Yi immediately consumed the fruit without thinking. When he had finished eating the fruit, he also felt the extraordinary energy, which came from inside his body as if he was now much lighter, and his strength increased very rapidly. He was very happy with this situation. So far, Jia Yi has gotten strange 18, mind 18, physical 14, and agility 18. 
This will certainly increase Jia Yi's strength in hunting zombies. Jia Yi immediately looked for his newest prey to increase his level. Jia Yi now arrived at the game center and there he saw lots of zombies. Dozens of zombies immediately attacked him. But Jia Yi was confident. He will immediately eradicate the zombies. And sure enough, one by one, the zombies are now being wiped out by Jia Yi. Very brutally. With the hunting carried out by Jia Yi, Jia Yi continues to obtain various items. So now his abilities are growing rapidly. Time passed, and in the end, Jia Yi succeeded in achieving his mission. Namely, killing 100 zombies yourself in the gym. Due to Jia Yi's achievements, he also received a very interesting item. This pendant is able to improve Jia Yi's physical quality. So in this way, Jia Yi became even stronger. Jia Yi's attack also increased by 10%. If you use this tool, Jia Yi is increasingly confident in navigating the apocalypse zone. After that, Jia Yi continued walking towards the hallway while looking at the situation around him. There, he found lots of dead zombies lying around as well as the humans who are now lying down because they were devoured by zombies. According to Jia Yi's estimation, this doesn't seem to be caused by normal zombies, but it was caused by an attack from a zombie figure called the Boss Zombie Figure. The strength and abilities possessed by Boss Zombies are much stronger than ordinary zombies. Boss-level zombies can kill humans very easily. The satisfaction of the zombie boss doesn't end there, because Boss Zombies will eat humans very brutally. Not only that, if there is no human in front of him, he will also eat his own people. Namely, zombies can be said to be boss zombies who are cannibals who eat everything. The prediction of death in this alley does not end here. Because Jia Yi still thinks that this might have happened because of a mutant attack. The mutant beast boss is a zombie figure who comes from animals, aka animals who have become zombies. The process of becoming a zombie for an animal will be identified based on the strength of the animal. The stronger it is, the easier it will be for the animal to become a zombie. Then if it is too expensive, it will be very difficult to become a zombie. For example, mosquitoes, where only a few mosquitoes can become zombies. Of the tens or thousands of zombies that exist, that's not all. The wilder the zombie animals are, the more cruel they will prey on humans. They usually directly suck human brains to get liquid food. At that moment, Jia Yi felt something strange, where he also thought that the humans who died in front of him at this time were killed by cat zombies. For Jia Yi himself, this cat zombie is quite dangerous because of its very unique abilities, where hearing and smell are very sharp. This cat is not even detected if it attacks. Under these circumstances, Jia Yi began to make special preparations in order to receive attacks launched by zombie cats. He started to focus on surviving. Not long after, the cat zombie immediately attacked Jia Yi. But fortunately, Jia Yi was able to avoid that. These zombies are really troublesome. A little information about this zombie, where he has strange 21, main 10, physical 9, and agility 20. He is also able to attack in the zombie's shadow. This is actually still in the bronze range zombie stage. However, the cat zombie's abilities are equivalent to that of a zombie boss. It could be said that the zombie figure that Jia Yi will face now will be really difficult. Even the natural talent of this zombie cat. Where if he manages to injure his opponent, it will be very difficult for that opponent to heal themselves by 40%. And if the opponent is hit by the attack, the bleeding will continue to increase by 40%. Automatically, your opponent cannot be hit by a deadly attack from this cat zombie. Not only that, cat's talents don't stop there. Because with its eyes alone, this zombie cat is able to create an illusion. If you are caught in the illusion, you can be sure that your opponent will lose 20% of their attributes. So the opponent will be weaker. Jia Yi will do his best to avoid every attack given by this cat zombie. A fight will soon occur between Jia Yi versus the cat zombie. But before that, we must first know the origins of these zombie cats. Where before a tip occurs. These cats are usually looked after by human figures in the gymnasium. The cat figure is really cute and adorable. But everything changes when the apocalypse zone begins. Where these cats are bitten by human zombies. So they also turn into zombies. A cat zombie that has successfully transformed then kill the people in the gymnasium one by one. 
With all these circumstances, Jia Yi is required to kill one zombie with a fantastic prize, where there is 100 price, then 200 gold, 100 XP, one black bronze baton, and the duration of this mission is only 8 hours. Then if Jia Yi fails to carry out this mission as usual, he will not receive any punishment. This made Jia Yi truly happy, and much different from life before, where in his previous life he had to suffer a lot of punishment because of a failed mission. But right now, he will focus on strengthening himself and becoming much tougher. Usually people will defeat these cat zombies by the dozens, but now I have to face it alone. Jia Yi starts to activate the mission and will soon defeat the cat zombie. A fight begins between the cat zombie and Jia Yi. The zombie began to manipulate in an adorable way when Jia Yi was caught off guard. The zombie immediately attacked Jia Yi with high pressure. One claw attack from the cat zombie almost injured Jia Yi. Luckily, Jia Yi was able to dodge and try to counter the attack. Jia Yi's counterattack finally made the cat fall. At this time, the cat zombie must lose its sharp nails. The injured cat zombie would later not forgive Jia Yi. He will avenge all this but he calmly answered that he would accept every attack made by the cat zombie. The cat zombie is now bringing out its best abilities, where his eyes started to get redder. The eye that this cat emits is an eye that can make its opponent fall into an illusion. It's true that Jia Yi is currently in the cat's illusion, so the cat began to control Jia Yi's entire subconscious. However, according to Jia Yi, this is still too weak because the effect of this illusion is only a trivial level. Jia Yi was the one who got this kind of opportunity. Without thinking, he immediately destroyed the illusion and immediately hunted down the cat who was trying to escape. In the end, the zombie cat died. When by defeating this cat zombie, Jia Yi continues to obtain various items. So that made Jia Yi really happy. The mission success announcement was also announced by the system, so that players in the apocalypse zone also know about this. Unmitigated, there was even one woman who wanted to ask Jia Yi to marry him because of Jia Yi's abilities and toughness. Not only that, there is a mysterious man who seems to really admire Jia Yi's abilities, even planning to invite Jia Yi into his team, to strengthen the team he has. Back to Jia Yi, who at this time immediately took out a chair, so he can relax a little, while looking at the potential that exists within him at the moment. Then he checked the game panel, where he had already surpassed his previous level. Jia Yi has a price type of 2,000 points, gold 5,000, four attribute points inventory text of X-Pen 2.4 cubic meters, and until the time of initiation he managed to rise to level 7. He is also known by a new nickname, namely Bronze Arrow. That is a term for players who have reached level 7. By reaching this level, Jia Yi's abilities continue to grow rapidly, and for self-healing it has increased to 5% so it will be easier for Jia Yi to reach the next levels. The profits that Jia Yi received did not end there because of the first murder he carried out on the cat zombie. Jia Yi has now succeeded in reusing dead cat zombies to bring them back to life, just to fight for him. It could be said that Jia Yi was able to control zombie cats, to represent himself to defeat the enemies who got in his way. However, even so, the representation made by the zombie cat was only at the 30-minute stage, and the cooldown period is 48 hours. This item would truly be extraordinary for Jia Yi. After that, Jia Yi continued his journey, and he entered a warehouse. According to his estimates, this warehouse contained a silver rank. When he entered the warehouse, he saw lots of skulls, which seemed to be finished off or eaten by something. All the horrors in this warehouse were, of course, carried out by zombie cats before. Jia Yi started looking for the whereabouts of the silver items. He searched and searched on all sides, until he found a silver box whose contents would be truly amazing. Jia Yi immediately opened the silver box without thinking. Various items appeared, and the most important thing was a book. The skills book will contain various explanations for becoming a warrior. He was truly very happy with this situation, because in it, there will be a lot of knowledge regarding attack methods commonly used by warriors and also various other special skills. With all the circumstances of initiation, without thinking, he immediately clicked on the student. So he started doing everything. After getting enough lessons, Jia Yi will now immediately use additional attributes, 
One of the additional attributes is called the white-winged cape. This CP attribute is a very unique attribute because this attribute is filled by various types of bird feathers. This available attribute really made Jia Yi very happy. Moreover, this attribute can make Jia Yi fly into the air for 20 minutes. And the culture is also 20 minutes. With circumstances like this, Jia Yi is increasingly confident that he can defeat everyone in this apocalypse. He can become the strongest, especially since his abilities are increasing over time. He started wearing those attributes and so his goals have now changed completely. He no longer wants to just kill zombies, but also killed Li Haobo's entire family and everyone related to him, then so he could send them all to hell. Currently, Jia Yi managed to get a new attribute which he immediately put on. The attribute that comes from the abundance of bird feathers now makes Jia Yi more confident in navigating the apocalypse zone. He then met lots of zombies in a room. By using the abilities of the bird's feathers, Jia Yi immediately used it so he could fly high and attack through the air. Jia Yi began to launch deadly attacks. And it looked so easy for Jia Yi. And he wasn't half-hearted. Now, dozens of zombies in the room are killed very easily. He uses various aerial assault techniques to defeat the remaining zombies. Without hesitation, his abilities are currently increasing. Jia Yi was even able to produce an explosive effect from the sword he produced. So it doesn't take long. The place was completely clear of the presence of zombies. By getting this opportunity, Jia Yi managed to get various items for his success. And because he had succeeded in killing more than 100 zombies, he also got various very interesting equipment. One of the interesting equipment that Jia Yi managed to achieve was a card. This card is a lucky card that can make Jia Yi draw a very amazing item. He started trying to do that, and he easily managed to get a really interesting item. The item is called Absorb Blood Ring, which is the bronze level. However, the presence of this ring can increase Jia Yi's abilities. When Jia Yi came face to face with the enemies, even the enemies around Jia Yi would also be affected where they will lack their energy when facing Jia Yi. It doesn't stop there. This ring is also able to convert everything into energy. This is, of course, very interesting. Then he went back to drawing lots. Currently, he hopes to get a better cheat than before. The drawing process has begun, where Jia Yi got a cheat, which can allow Jia Yi to collect items without having to pick them up first, because automatically, Jia Yi can do it with the cheats he has. This cheat itself is called Auto Pickup First Level. At this level, the various items produced can be collected directly by Jia Yi, with a distance of up to 0.5 meters, so every item that is in that area, then it automatically goes straight into Jia Yi's inventory. He who got the item was really very happy, plus he was also increasingly curious about what other cheats he would get next. Soon after that, he automatically managed to collect an item called Apex of Barbecue Season, and he also collected a charging card. It can make Jia Yi's energy reaccumulate for approximately 20 minutes. Before continuing his adventure, Jia Yi will first eat the food available. Right now, he will eat a very delicious Krabby Patty. When the time comes, he started to leave to go to a place called the Family Villa. This villa is a villa occupied by the Li family. A few moments later, we are also shown the actions of young Master Li, who is currently with two beautiful girls. Li Hao Bo felt someone's arrival at his residence. But before that, Lee actually did something rude to his two girls. This young master Lee is really arrogant. However, even so, its movement is also very limited. Because every time he wants to leave, he is always disturbed by the presence of zombies. Moreover, in this apocalypse, he is said to be very weak and gets much less XP. This, of course, made him really angry. Not long afterward, young master Lee met his uncle. He is the person assigned by Mr. Lee to search for and find the whereabouts of Jia Yi and Jia Yi's boyfriend. Now Uncle Rong tells Mr. Lee that his girlfriend Jia Yi is gone because Jia Yi killed him. This made young Master Lee completely in disbelief, even though he planned to take revenge on Jia Yi. However, until now Jia Yi has not been found. From the autopsy results obtained on this woman's body, there were many traces of torture. Before this woman is finished, then his uncle also emphasized that this female killer seemed to know the joint points of a murder. If only the one who finished this off was Jia Yi. So young Master Li must be alert. Li Haobo was truly very, very surprised by what he encountered. 
At this moment, he felt like he wanted to vomit when he saw the cruelty committed by Jia Yi. Even so, he continued to tell Uncle Rong to find Jia Yi's current whereabouts as soon as possible. Seeing young Master Li's orders, Uncle Rong said that finding Jia Yi was impossible, because of course, with Jia Yi's current abilities, Jia Yi can hunt anyone. Even the number one hunter would find it very difficult to face Jia Yi. He also confirmed one thing, where they need lots of guards. About 100 more guards were required to keep young Master Li out of Jia Yi's reach. At first, Mr. Li felt that this was not a good thing at all, because how could Uncle Rong, who is in the top 10 of his country, not be able to face Jia Yi? However, Uncle Rong still says that Jia Yi is a truly unpredictable figure. Uncle Rong will do everything to protect Master Li and his family. Not far from that place. Now Jia Yi is more confident. Moreover, currently he has reached the 8th level. With the abilities he currently has, he will immediately overthrow Li Haobo and everything related to the Li family. Jia Yi then started sneaking into young Master Li's palace. At that place, you could see lots of guards standing guard with great enthusiasm and enthusiasm. However, Jia Yi had to use various strategies to get into this place. Jia Yi will immediately plan to use the most famous method to infiltrate a place. Before doing that, he also continued to check the surrounding situation. Starting from ongoing maintenance, there and also various other controls. When Jia Yi made observations, he unexpectedly discovered Uncle Rong's whereabouts. A little profile about the man. He is Rong Zhan, one of the war gods of Dragon City. A hunt war god before the apocalypse. Dai is the leader of the bounty hunters, and he has controlled many areas for many years. He is under the control of the Li family. His specialty is close combat. Dai is the commander of a mercenary group that pursues targets. In his old life, Rong Zhan also chased Lin Zi Lu, because Li Hao Bo. After many failed attempts to catch him, he sprang into action. He kept pushing Lin Zi Lu into difficult situations. He's one of the worst enemies he's ever fought. But he is the biggest disgrace to Rong Zhan, because he managed to keep running away from Rong Zhan. His hunting record was revoked, and he received the title of greatest disgrace. Jia Yi felt like this was fate. They are found again in this life. But for him, he acted quickly. Before taking a step, Jia Yi always convinces himself that he is capable of defeating Rong Zhan, especially if Rong Zhan is killed. In fact, the Li family will automatically lose one of the most important figures in their lives. Then, he immediately used a hidden mask to deceive the people at that place. So Jia Yi's whereabouts are currently completely invisible. At times like that, Jia Yi listened to the conversation of Rong Zhan's subordinates, where Rong Zhan was ordered to immediately meet young Master Li. Rong Zhan hurriedly went there, but before he went any further, he felt a presence coming from inside this house. But even so, he didn't care much about it, because he will finish off anyone who tries to disturb the Li family in the middle of the night, exactly at 12.00. He also met the figure of young Master Li. Young Master Li at that time felt that boredom was creeping up on him. As a result of this situation, he tried to look for something that could stimulate his adrenaline. He then asked Uncle Rong to immediately bring the zombies in front of him, so he can play a game. At first, Rong Zhan didn't agree with that because it's too dangerous and could certainly hurt young Master Li. But even so, young Master Li is really a very stubborn person and doesn't want to be opposed at all. He said that he was never afraid of anything, so immediately bring the zombies in front of him. Rong Zhan had no other choice but to grant the request. So not long after a large zombie appeared in front of young Master Li, the zombie is now chained and of course the strength of this zombie cannot be underestimated. To complete young Master Li's game, then he brought a large box containing the girls previously captured by the Li family. It was as if the girls were being tortured like animals. The sound of the bell began to be played by Li Hao Bo, as a sign that death will soon approach. It's true that the girls are now starting to feel very scared, especially when young Master Li ordered his guards to immediately open the mouth gag on the zombie. The zombies are now getting wilder and will soon try to kill the girls. However, there was someone named Wang Da Hu, who was a subordinate of young Master Li, who tried to oppose the cruelty committed by young Master Li. 
He said that the act was truly heinous and should not have been carried out. For what happened? Young Master Lee was really furious, because this was the first time someone dared to oppose his words. In this situation, he ordered his guards to immediately beat this Wang Dahu. Wang Dahu began to be beaten. However, at first Wang Dahu managed to withstand the attacks of the guards. But often, as time goes by, because the situation becomes more and more stressful, he is unable to move and is beaten in such a way. When he was about to be finished, young Master Li forbade it because young Master Li wanted to show him something, where he had to witness for himself that these girls were devoured by zombies. The zombie will now be released into a large box containing girls. Zombies are now really very satisfied. One by one, the girls in the box are now starting to be preyed upon by the large zombie figure. Young Master Li and the guards were truly happy for the suffering of others. Meanwhile, Wang Dahu was truly saddened by the cruelty committed by young Master Li. It doesn't stop there, because at this time, he ordered his guards to immediately put Wang Dahu into the cell, so he can fight with deadly zombies. The zombies are really hungry. It was as if he had no stomach at all. He continues to eat humans like crunchy meat. The young man who disobeyed young Master Li had to face a zombie who had a burly and large body. He's in a position like this. Then he felt resigned and tried to apologize to his mother, that he might never come back, and that he might not be able to survive here. But when he heard his mother's name, he will subconsciously try as hard as he can to survive. The young man now immediately attacks the zombie right on its head. But attacks like that obviously don't just paralyze zombies. The young man continued to try to attack until he was caught off guard and injured his body, a.k.a. his stomach. The place then bled a lot, and this all made young Master Li truly overjoyed. All this is considered a very interesting spectacle. Even though the young man was bleeding, he didn't give up. He continued to launch his final attack until finally the zombie was also killed, at the same time as he lost a lot of blood. After the young man died, the young man suddenly turned into a zombie. And of course, this zombie also has a very strong revenge. Apart from that, we are also shown Jia Yi, who is now starting to focus on carrying out his mission. He then sneaked around and managed to kill one of the soldiers and disguised himself as that soldier. When he succeeded in disguising himself, he tried to convince his fellow members that they were all puppets being played by young Master Li. They were just considered trash and useless to continue young Master Li's mission under such circumstances. Strangeness began to be felt by young Master Li's followers, a.k.a. guards. But even so, Jia Yi, without thinking, immediately killed the guards. So that makes him currently quite safe. He tried to kill the people guarding the area one by one. So far, Jia Yi's attack has at least succeeded in eliminating all the guards in the area outside the Li family villa. This situation also made Jia Yi get a new mission from the system. Where if Jia Yi wants to level up so quickly, Jia Yi was required to kill 269 humans at this location. And the time limit for completing the mission is 12 hours. So Jia Yi must quickly eliminate the guards and everyone related to the Li family. Not long after, Jia Yi immediately clicked on the mission. So an exciting game will happen soon. Jia Yi began to slowly access all the systems in this place. Meanwhile, on the other side, it can be seen that currently Mr. Li's troops are treating women harshly. They are really cruel to women. There, they also prepared various strategies to face Jia Yi later, when they make a mature plan. Suddenly, a man arrived at the place. In a situation like this, wrong, without thinking, immediately secured young Master Li. Young Master Li, an old man, quickly ran away from there. Meanwhile, Rong will face the man. Rong and his troops are now starting to take their weapons to face the figure of the man who will come. The guards at that time were preparing to face off. They are now starting to focus. But not long after, suddenly a surprise attack occurred, so it influences their views. Jia Yi now wears a mask and uses the attributes of his shoes to step forward. Jia Yi then, without thinking, immediately took out his technique and pointed. So at that time, and the sharp point really hurt the target of all the guards. Now he almost perished due to the attack issued by Jia Yi. He also combined his attack with a flash attack, so the speed was completely unexpected. 
Jia Yi is a war emperor who currently has a very deep grudge. Jia Yi moved closer to Rong. And now Rong is the only one left. His troops have now been massacred and Rong Zhan has to make various efforts to stay alive. Rong Zhan then went to Young Master Li to convince Young Master Li that now he would be able to face this man. In conditions like this, they still couldn't be sure if it was Jia Yi who attacked. Because the attacker was wearing a mask. Then he was forced to take care of all the trust he previously held to look after young master Li Hao Bo. Now Rong sent it to Uncle Zhao, because he must be able to save the young master. Besides that, now Jia Yi is really happy, because now his mission is almost complete. The mission to eliminate 269 humans in this area will soon be completed. To be precise, he had managed to kill 200. After that, Jia Yi didn't forget to check the condition of his two opponents. The first is Rong, and the second is Uncle Zhao. Based on the information available so far, Rong is much stronger than the old man. Jia Yi has a mature plan, where he will first finish off Rong because if Rong has perished, the power of the Lia family will decrease. And of course, that would make it easier for him to finish off Li Hao Bo. Jia Yi was really confident about the plan he would soon carry out. He then also immediately took out a trumpet that he could use to summon back the previous cat zombie. He is now starting to make calls. So now the cat zombies appear and immediately attack Rong Zhan's troops. The Rong troops, which are currently growing again, are now even decreasing due to the attacks issued by Jia Yi. One of Li's brothers then had to perish as a result of being attacked by the zombie cat. The guards were now completely overwhelmed by Jia Yi's strategy. And now he is the only one left, and he intends to defeat Jia Yi. But before that, Rong asked Jia Yi about who the real Jia Yi was. Jia Yi, without thinking, immediately took off his mask. And only then was Rong Zhan able to confirm 100% that it was really Jia Yi who had been belittled and embarrassed by the Li family. When Si Rong was left alone, it turned out that he still had additional troops who came just in time. But even the male troops meant nothing to Jia Yi who could finish him off with just one attack. Now Jia Yi will immediately intend to finish off Rong Zhan. Rong Zhan was completely overwhelmed. He tried to apologize to Jia Yi. Don't just apologize. Rong Zhan also begs Jia Yi for forgiveness so that it doesn't end up in this place. But he's getting wilder. He then immediately ordered the zombie cat to finish it off. But unfortunately, the zombie cat's time has run out, so he is forced to do it with his own hands. He immediately pointed the knife at Rong Zhan. And without thinking, Rong was killed very cruelly. Jia Yi is truly a human being who has no mercy or compassion at all. Due to circumstances like this and the death of Rong Zhan, it makes it even easier for Jia Yi to destroy the Li family. Because as far as Jia Yi knows, Rong Zhan is quite influential in the survival of the Li family. He who was still dissatisfied with all this hurried over, quickly probably looking for young Master Li's whereabouts. At times like this, Uncle is really worried because they will soon perish. However, Uncle Zhao still tried to stay calm, because all problems can be solved. Young Master Li, finding himself in a position like this, truly felt threatened. At this time, he still couldn't imagine that all of this was the work of Lin Zi Luo alias Jia Yi. Young Master Li's panic made the man really speak loudly. So the sound of the young master's commotion finally reached his ears. Jia Yi, who knew this, rushed towards the place of the sound he knew before carrying out the attack. Jia Yi finally found a reason. Why does Li really hate him? It turned out that it came from Jia Yi's father, who had reported the Li family to the central government, so that the family's plans are completely destroyed and fail. As a result of this situation, Jia Yi's family was completely massacred and Jia Yi also continues to be hunted. All this information made Jia Yi even more angry and annoyed. This anger made Jia Yi unable to hold back any longer. Without thinking, he immediately broke into the place where the Li family was currently hiding. The place was destroyed. So that made the old man immediately attack towards Jia Yi. But the attack was really very weak. Unmitigated, this time the cat zombie was released again by Jia Yi. But unfortunately, the zombie had to lie down and his energy ran out because he had committed a lot of murders today. With the death of the zombie cat, there is no reason for Jia Yi to hide his true face. He also took off his mask. So, in the end, 
Lee was able to be 100% sure that it was the person he was looking for. The old man who saw that was completely confused, because he didn't expect Jia Yi alias Lin Zi Luo to be this powerful. Moreover, Jia Yi had succeeded in eliminating the entire guard squad, as well as killing Rong Zhan alone. The shock was not only felt by the old man, because Li really felt it was strange and impossible for Jia Yi to do everything. Li Haobo completely resigned himself to this situation. He could no longer defend himself. Jia Yi now pointed his knife at the old man and young master Li Haobo. Then without thinking, he immediately charged towards the young master. But the old man also tried to protect himself. The old man is now using all his abilities to protect Li Haobo. He didn't hesitate to show off his six-pack abilities, so the clothes he was wearing were destroyed and his body grew a little. In such a situation, he did not remain silent. He immediately launched an attack, especially at the old man. The double flash attack almost killed the old man. Luckily, it was only the old man's arm that was hit. The old man is quite in pain with this situation. He tried to get back up. When the old man tried to block every attack from Jia Yi, in the end, he had to be killed horribly. Jia Yi has now managed to finish off the old man so that his steps to finish off young Master Li will soon be completed. With all these circumstances, he really didn't know what he should do anymore. He completely resigned himself to the situation. At that moment, Jia Yi, without thinking, immediately drew his sword straight at him, so Li Haobo was really in pain. Jia Yi's stab was truly cruel to the point that it made the young master really suffer pain. These various stabs made young master Li feel very low. Blood started to flow throughout his body. Jia Yi now seems to be making a truly special torture of Li Haobo. Not only in the thigh, Jia Yi also immediately drew the knife straight into his arm. So now one by one, Li Haobo's body parts started to hurt. After Jia Yi caused quite a lot of suffering for Li Haobo, Jia Yi, without thinking, immediately killed Li very cruelly. Using his knife, Jia Yi died with his body badly injured. With Li dead like this, that means Jia Yi's revenge mission was completed. He is still obsessed with conquering this apocalypse world and becoming number one. With all these incidents, Jia Yi was finally able to complete his mission of eliminating 269 people in the Li family. With this success, he immediately drew lots and unexpectedly found a small magic wand. The small stick was useful for allowing Jia Yi to use various magic tricks. With this tool, he will try to learn it further to improve his skills again. After that, Jia Yi tried to check his inventory and check what items had been picked up automatically. There, he found various gifts. One of the best games he got was when he managed to finish off the roll. The item was a necklace. This necklace itself has many benefits, such as eliminating a lot of pressure on headaches and so on. With something like this, you can use it as a meditation tool for Jia Yi's luck. Not until there, when he drew again, he realized he got something unexpected. He gets absolute level one, where he has the ability to make zombies his slaves. In a situation like that, he could just control the zombie so that it does whatever he wants. This was like a dream come true for Jia Yi. He really couldn't believe that he had such a good opportunity by getting the opportunity to enslave zombies. Jia Yi was confused about what kind of zombies were worthy of being his slaves. He has to look for super strong zombies to be able to complete many missions with him. He plans to look for the zombie king. At this time, Jia Yi's body was starting to get tired. He plans to live in the villa occupied by the Li family. This is because in his entire life he has never once experienced living in a luxurious villa like this. He started walking around the villa and found lots of expensive items. When he stepped inside, he accidentally saw something truly surprising. That something was none other than a large man who was staring intently at him. This kind of situation made Jia Yi wonder why there were still people left. It turned out that the person was not a human figure, but an imprisoned zombie. This zombie itself is quite strong because it is at level 4, and has strength 25, mind 3, physical 26, agility 18, and in total it is very attractive to use as a slave. Jia Yi, who gets an opportunity like this, will immediately make this zombie figure his slave. Jia Yi meets a zombie figure who he will soon make a zombie slave. Not long after, 
he immediately destroyed the cell and tried to attack Jia Yi who was there. However, not long after, Jia Yi also immediately took out his equipment, which made the zombie obey. The zombie is now obedient to Jia Yi, because he will listen to everything Jia Yi says. In a situation like this, the zombie continues to follow Jia Yi, but then Jia Yi intended to rest immediately because it was too late at night. The zombie there was assigned by Jia Yi to keep guard at the door so he could keep an eye on it. In short, the night passed, and now the next day arrived. Jia Yi immediately opened the door so he saw that currently the zombie monster was still standing there. Jia Yi also discovered a unique fact that this zombie did not eat other zombies, or eat carrion. This also made Jia Yi feel that the zombie figure in front of him was a different zombie. He then immediately took out various foods so he could eat together with the zombie. At first, the zombie didn't want to eat food, but then Jia Yi kept ordering him so that the zombies now obeyed. The zombies began to eat up the food there one by one with great gusto. Jia Yi does all this so that the level of zombies increases, and that can help him complete the mission. When Jia Yi had finished eating, he tried to find out where he would soon be. The place is called the Modu Museum Destination, a place where Jia Yi can find various good items and find tough zombies to kill. One of the main items that Jia Yi was looking for in that place was a key to replace his current profession. So he can be at a level that is above, with the changes he will make. He really intends and hopes that he will finish it soon. Because in his previous life he had failed to do so due to influences from past lives. He also had a lot of lies that happened in his life, starting from his girlfriend to his own friends. Lee actually bribed him and tricked him into being killed by zombies. At that time, the zombies succeeded in thwarting Lin Xin Luo from changing professions, but even so, he managed to wipe out the three zombies. It could be said that in his previous life he had never experienced a change of profession, as a result of being thwarted by Lee. Currently, with everything he has, he is confident that he can do that, especially now that Li Haobo is also gone, and the road to his mission will be a little smoother before long. Then Jia Yi, together with the zombies who we can just call Big Idiots, will immediately rush to that place. Today's Big Idiots in tall suits will accompany Jia Yi and go everywhere. In short, they managed to arrive at the museum and found lots of zombies, and the Big Idiot started destroying the zombies one by one, he attacked the zombie very, very cruelly. After that, Jia Yi got another new item. The item is called a fireball scroll. With this item, Jia Yi can carry out attacks using the fireball scroll item. While Jia Yi was focused on what was happening, the big idiot zombie actually saw ghosts with the zombies there. Jia Yi felt strange about the situation. This is because the big idiot zombies don't attack the zombies at all. So he started doing reconnaissance. And finally, he discovered the fact that this big idiot zombie had gotten too close to the zombies. Because he was previously a zombie. Automatically, this big idiot zombie doesn't take the initiative to attack the zombies. Jia Yi will immediately take action on this. But he will try to read the situation first. At times like this, Jia Yi managed to gain a new reality. Where he saw there was a group of people who were one community as hunters. They are all members of the community at the museum. He plans to come in and join that community. So he can reach the center point of this museum. So the mission steps will be made easier. We are then shown the community troops who are currently in the building. And plans to carry out a community action itself. Led by a figure named Gao Dong. He tried to direct his troops by saying that they would immediately take action. Currently they have gathered to 200 people. Because Gao Dong's words made many people disagree. Because if they were here, they would run out of resources. They didn't have time to wait for 200 people first. Because with this number, they feel quite capable. Riots began to occur there. So one of the women then immediately slapped one of the people. When you get a stretch like that. He told the woman that he didn't want anything to do with women. So get away from his side as soon as possible. That woman was definitely not to be underestimated and he invited himself to a duel in this place to find out who was greater among them. Everyone who witnessed this then immediately supported the woman and insulted the figure because they thought she was talking too much nonsense. In situations like this, he tried to calm his troops by saying that all of this will be safely under control. 
when Gao Dong tried to calm his troops. Unexpectedly, Jia Yi and the big idiot came to that place. Jia Yi came there wearing a mask, making everyone confused. Many people wondered why this figure came towards them. They obviously didn't know Jia Yi. If they are in conditions like this, this incident will also make them fall. Then he directly asked Jia Yi why he came here. Jia Yi and Gao Dong both introduced themselves, so they now know each other. At that place, Jia Yi also introduced the big idiot zombie, who was his older brother. He deliberately pretended that this big idiot zombie was a human figure so that the big idiot zombie could be accepted in this community. Jia Yi also added one special feature to the big idiot zombie, where the big idiot used to be a special force, so he rarely talks. This also made all parties there believe in this. Jia Yi then confesses to Gao Dong that his purpose here is to join the community. Gao Dong, as a good leader, then invited anyone to join here including Jia Yi and the big idiot zombie. With an opportunity like this, Jia Yi didn't waste it and go straight into the community. From now on, Jia Yi and the big idiot are considered brothers by the Gao because they both have joined the community. This whole incident made Jia Yi also unexpected because joining this community was very easy. Not long after, the three of them were now sitting at one table where they discussed all the preparations they would carry out. Jia Yi didn't expect to be given a book by Gao Dong. This book can improve Jia Yi's skills in hunting zombies. In the book, there is a very amazing skill. This skill can drastically increase a country's strength. But the side effect is that the user will lose consciousness for two minutes and behave like a zombie. This skill is very dangerous if not used carefully. Therefore, Jia Yi must make the best use of this. With all this, Jia Yi also thanked Gao Dong very much for giving me the book. After receiving that, Jia Yi and the big idiot excused themselves because they would soon be carrying out a mission which would soon be carried out. Gao Dong then tries to hold them longer because they have only been here for a short time. But Jia Yi decided that this was very important for the smooth running of his mission. In this way, like it or not, they have to be separated for a while. Jia Yi and the big idiot rushed to leave the place, but unexpectedly, he was detained by someone. Jia Tai and his group then told Jia Yi that Jia Yi should not get too close to Gao Dong, because Gao Dong's figure is quite dangerous. Jia Yi didn't want to listen to those words and tried to leave quickly, but again the man tried to hold back and tried to attack Jia Yi. He was completely out of control. He was trying to harm Jia Yi immediately. They all even looked down on and looked down on this big idiot who had a big body but no brain at all. When they did that and intended to attack towards Jia Yi, the big idiot zombie showed his abilities and immediately defeated Jia Tai with just one attack. So Roika has now been killed. The remaining friends tried to fight back but they were already ahead because they were afraid of the attacks issued by the big idiot zombies. They don't dare to do anything anymore. He then left from there. After everything that happened, he was the one who tried to ask his followers about what's really going on here. One of the people then immediately whispered a sentence to him. That person said in slang that Jia Tai and his group had been wiped out by Jia Yi and the big idiot. More precisely, the big idiot, the big body, had done that. This information makes Gao Dong curious about what Jia Yi and the big idiot are really hiding. He also tried to find out more about how strong Jia Yi's abilities were. Meanwhile, in a different place, Jia Yi was reading a book, and then he tried to ask the system whether it was possible that this big idiot zombie could harm or harm him. Soon the system immediately said that the big idiot zombie could be completely controlled by Jia Yi, so Jia Yi doesn't need to mind anything. By knowing this information, Jia Yi became even more convinced that the big idiot was a truly good slave. Jia Yi then immediately studied the book that Gao Dong had given him, so that the big idiot zombies can develop more quickly there. Jia Yi also has a wish that he immediately reaches level 10, so that his abilities can be multiplied many times over. In the future, he can change professions, in a place called Mo Du. Before that, to relieve the fatigue he had lived and felt all this time, Jia Yi invited the big idiot to go to a game store not far from there. He found various very interesting games 
and one of the games seemed to create a space to fight zombies. Virtual zombies seem very real, so Jia Yi could possibly defeat the zombies in the game area. Even though the zombies seem virtual, Jia Yi still gets items from the murders he committed there. He got an item called toilet paper, which he could use for various purposes. Jia Yi then stepped back and tried to find other interesting items around here. He and the big idiot managed to kill all the zombies in that place. The big idiot had also carried out everything Jia Yi said. So now the big idiot is also able to finish off the zombies. With all this incident, Jia Yi received various other interesting items so they immediately entered his inventory.